hello good afternoon everyone i hope you all are doing well and are you ready to unlock the journey towards the financial well being so here we have we have come across today a topic on building a better financial life with our guest speaker soma das today we are not just going to talk about numbers and the budgets so we will be diving uh, deep into the secrets of financial empowerment so soma das our amazing guide uh, on this adventures is a true master when it comes to helping people improve their financial well being so uh, get comfortable and get ready to unlock the potential for a more prosperous future so without any further ado who let's give a big virtual a round of applause and extend a warm welcome to soma as she uh, she will share the insights on financial wellbeing so before i get into this sometimes you know this is a topic uh, money talking about money and finance it is uh, very intriguing very interesting all of us are very curious to know more but then sometimes uh, getting deeper and deeper into it uh it becomes a little uh, tiring and boring so uh, so th that's why sometimes you know uh, you will have to uh, keep yourself motivated yourself only and uh, ask me whatever you want to have uh, i want to know any questions so uh, generally you can keep the questions till the end but uh, in case still if you want i will i will definitely look into it uh, so keep on to the topic let's go on to it now building a financial life so each of us all of us on our uh, all uh, on a journey to earn money right all of you are working in a company i am also working so each of us are on a journey to pave a path for a smooth life and uh, with the help of money now some people say money is not everything but i will say money is everything not because i come from a financial background but definitely money is everything because unless and until you have money you cannot have a dream life you cannot uh, achieve whatever you want to achieve in your life so each of us are born with some perspective some dream in life so to uh, finally we need to achieve that goal personal goal financial goal whatever goal to achieve that goal we are all working hard and to get money and channelize that money to achieve that goal right so if you agree then type agree so whenever i say something you keep doing it then i will also know that you are listening to me and you are uh, you are with me otherwise i will uh, i will also fall back and, and i will as it is i cannot see all of you so it's that i will look on the chat only thank you so much and it's amazing that you are alert and you are listening to me okay uh, we have spoken about money is everything now money yes what we do morning to evening we go to work we end of the month we work for 30 days and we earn money and we bring back home and lead our life but then uh, we keep on spending as well so keep on spending we keep on earning month on month year on after year and we don't even realize that we have earned so much of money and we have uh, spent so much money and but then uh, at at some juncture in life we do not we realize that we have not achieved Uh, what we wanted to achieve, and we have, uh, we have not, we are not able to buy whatever purchase what we wanted to purchase for our own uh, satisfaction, happiness, or for the family we are not able to provide. So what happens is that the money that we earn is not uh, is not enough, or uh, the money that we have spent is not uh, is gone in the other way, and we are not uh, left around with the money that we want to achieve the goal. So to it is. very tricky but then we need to have a very uh, smart way of good financing we, uh, we need to learn the skill of good financing so that we are able to balance the uh, earning as well as the investment or the uh, in, uh, spending okay so uh, for in what is investment the money that we earn and we spend after that whatever we are left around in the bank we need to do something with that money otherwise that money will lie in the bank and it will earn only the bank interest and it will not grow but here as we are earning day after day and uh, and we are spending every day but we are not able to achieve our goals 
So for that, the money that is lying in the bank and that is not earning enough or not meeting the financial goals, for that, there some that has there has to be channelized. We have to channelize that money. So that is when we the money that is left in the bank after spending that money when it is channelized into some source, that is called investment. Investment is nothing but which will give you that extra money. Apart from your salary, the money that you get extra from that passive income which is lying in the bank, if that money gives you some, some extra income which helps you in your uh, financial goals or in your spending or in your financial uh, family life, that money which grows will give extra money. That is an investment. So investment, sometimes people don't understand. They keep, they put it into some saving account or they put it into some some other funds which they don't have knowledge and they think that they have invested or they have put it into a life insurance uh, company or some other company which uh, lack of knowledge they have not understood and they, they talk about it that they have invested. No, the investment is that money which will give you that extra income. That is investment. Anywhere you invest that money which is lying in the bank, say you put it in a um, passive income uh, source, like you put it in a invest in a business personal business or you buy a real estate or you buy gold and keep it or you invest in some fund and it starts growing parallelly with your income that is investment so if you agree then please type agree so is there any any query here understanding of investment now to uh, what are your financial goals why will you why would you require to invest that money it is good enough that till 60 65 my company is good enough and is a stable company. I'm working in a good company. They're giving me a handsome salary. I'm able to end my, uh, meet my all my ends. So why do I need to put that, do that extra job of putting that bank money into something else, maybe a business or something, uh, some other source of income? Why do I need to do that extra work? That is because each of us also have financial goals. Like you have a career goal. We also have a financial goal. So all who have those who have financial goals, write FG in your chat box. If you have, if you understood financial goals, then you can write FG. Those who don't understand financial goals, then I can just touch and tell them uh, later on, maybe explicitly more in detail. I can talk about what are your financial goals. Say for example, a financial goal can be broken into short term, medium term, and long term. Whatever be your age, you may be 20s, 30s or 40s. So each of us also have, all of us must have a financial goal. So if you are having a notepad or a pen, please write down short term goal, medium term goal and a long term goal. Once you understand these goals, then you can think of investing that extra money which is lying in the bank or what are your financial aspects and what are your goals in future. So then you can channelize that. But of course, these goals have a criteria. What are they? They need. They will should be time bound, specific goals. They should be measurable goals. Like you need ten lakh rupee after five years. Say for example, after five years. Five years is a term. Ten lakh is a amount. For what purpose? Purpose is for your child's education. So these are measurable, achievable. Now, if you say that I want to achieve two crore rupees in next five years, but is that achievable? Yes or no? Then type that. If you will, if it's yes for someone, then yes. If it is no, then you can write no. So that is not a very realistic and achievable uh, goal. So break down your when you go back home today. So just work on your uh, finance and your uh, salary sheet. The best thing is you can go back and check your last 12 months salary slip. Or any other income, please add that income also. Maybe something else you are running uh, privately or doing some business or some family business. So then add that amount minus the spending. Then whatever money is left with that X amount of money, you can work out your goals. So your goals can be short term, medium term and long term. So I hope I'm clear on that. Okay. So now investments is uh, what uh, investments is what we have spoken is, which will give you that extra income, extra like who wants extra income, write extra. Those who want extra money, please write extra on the chat box. Okay, so great, fantastic. 
So everybody, each of us, we want extra. Company might be giving you a lot of facilities and a lot of money, but then still we want something extra. Why do you need that extra? Because each of us have our own uh, dreams in this life and each of us have come with us some dream and we have uh, we need some uh, uh, goals also to achieve and we have a standard of living, of course. So we need, we want to maintain that standard of living and things have moved like way ahead, so many courses, so many things we want to do, we want to go ahead in career. So to do all that, we need a lot of money. So maybe the income that we bring in home, that is only sufficient to run the family and also to for meeting other needs. But then we other things we are not, let's say, for example, travel. How many of you want to travel, have a travel plan, have a travel goal? Please write travel on the chat box. Travel is a big goal. So many financial advisors, they laugh and they say that why should travel become a goal? But travel is compulsory and I personally have a travel goal because each year you must have a travel goal and uh, you want to go abroad or venture out at places in India. So travel is also a goal. So for all this, we need that extra money. And that is why now slowly, slowly we are going deeper into what is the importance and need for channelizing that money, which is lying idle in the bank. And how much bank is giving bank interest? Can you please type on the chat box if any of you is aware of uh, savings account or a FD rate? Correct. 2.7 FD, 7. Hovering around 7.25 FD, which is which will again have a one year, five year time bound uh, savings account gives 2.5 to 2.7 percent. So does this meet even the inflation rate? Does it meet yes or no? What is the inflation rate? Can anybody? Can you all of you chat? What uh, if you are aware of the inflation rate today? Yes, correct. So. 6 or 7% inflation rate, that is absolutely right. Now you just do the small mathematics and see. Your money, extra money, say for example, 20,000, 30,000 every month you are left behind and is it lying in that 2.7 category in that saving box, in the saving account box and earning only 2.7%. And here on the other side, forget about purchase, forget about travel holiday. Here the inflation rate itself is 6%. So you are already on a negative, you are already on a loss. Now do you realize that money for last couple of years, month on month, if you have not channelized that money, you have not put that money into some job to do some job like you. Money also has to do a job like you, work hard for you. So money which is lying in the bank and it is sitting and earning 2.7% is not even meeting your inflation. So is that right or wrong? Is that a good investment? Is, is that investment? Yes or no? Is that an investment? No. Then what is it called? Can you guess what, what is that called? The money, when you keep that money in the savings account, what is it called? Absolutely. Correct. Amazing. It's a dead money lying in your savings account, not even meeting the financial inflation rate. Forget about uh, meeting your, giving you other benefits. It's not even doing the meeting the inflation rate so uh, now you see that the first thing is that you what are the benefits now that when you make that money work what what will you gain first of all it will make you disciplined so that you first invest and then you save invest and then the money which is left you start spending on that money so it will give you a discipline first thing you will get disciplined on the financial matter like you are disciplined to get up early, come on time to office and uh, listen to uh, do all the jobs and uh, end of the day you go back home. So you have a disciplined life. In the same way, you need to have a discipline on your finance. So first thing you have a discipline when you channelize, put it into some action. The money has to get into some action. Type action in your uh, chat box. So money has to start doing some job as action. So then we'll come to slowly do, uh, after few slides will come to know what action the money can do, what all can do, can it do. So first thing it will discipline you, channelize the money, then you it will also help you to identify your spending habits. Sometimes when you don't have a discipline, you just go haywire. You buy this, you buy that, you buy mobile, you buy laptop, you buy, you don't even need, you buy extra, 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 and when things are lying like that. 
So because you don't have a fixed amount which has to outgo, which has to go out of your bank account every uh, month on month, it has that amount of fixed money has to go and start working like a horse. The money has to start galloping and work like a horse. So when you don't put that money and fix it up in a month, fix it up, then you have a habit and tendency of buying this, buying that and going for dinner or buying clothes or something or the other. So this will identify, then you will restrict your spending habits will come into control. It will prepare you for your emergency. For what kind of emergency? Like, you know, if you have only savings account, you can tell money is there in the savings account. So if there's an emergency, I lost my job. If you lost a job and you may have money only from last six months, only 30, 40,000, will that be enough for to run the another six months or till you get a job? Will that be enough or no? It will not be enough, right? So it will uh, meet, it, even, even meeting the emergency, that money is not enough. So when you need an emergency, we need, uh, it comes with a big bank and you lost a job, maybe next six months you will not get a job. So you need to put the money, start working so that that will also work just like you and it will help you in your emergencies, job loss or any kind of family emergency. It will give you, it will assist you in gaining control on your finances. So when you know that I have X amount of money coming as a salary end of the month, every month, I have uh, say half a X or one third of the X, one fourth of the X fixed on fifth of the month, it will go into that investment. So one fifth of your salary goes into investment or one sixth that you can decide. So that then the balance money which is left in your account, you can then you can work it out. You can start working on it. Whether you can buy a, a mobile this month or let me buy it next month. I can hold on to it, or I can you know uh, anything extra. So fixed amount of uh, expense is that fixed amount of expense only. Let me some months you try it out. You just, after hearing this, you try this practice for a couple of months and see what happens. And then you can put it on hold and buy, put the purchase for later months. It also helps you in securing a happy retirement. Now you are, we are not going to work till the last day of the month. Are you going to work? Who, uh, who needs a happy retirement right, life, right? Ha uh, happy retirement. How many of you need a happy retirement life? Great, great. So you're not going to work like this till the last day of your life, right? None of us are going to, are ready. So once you have, you understand financing, control on finance and you have enough money, then I'm sure you will quit job and then Ekta will be angry on me and say that you made them quit and go to go back home and sleep because they have collected so much money, they are not working for me anymore. So sorry Ekta, but then this is just a lesson that uh, we are we are trying to tell them that how to have a happy retirement life and uh, definitely till 60, all of us 60, 65, the more, more longer you work, the better you work, you collect more money and you have a happy retirement life and give a great life to your family, right? Okay, now we have, we have come to that point that money has to work. So far we have spoken that the money has to work and why it should it work? It should work just like me. I'm working from morning nine o'clock to night nine o'clock. My money also should work at least 24 hours because money doesn't work physically. So uh, money uh, can lie somewhere and give me that money and uh, has to work. So where will I, where will I put this money so that it can work? Somebody has raised hand. Okay, IT sector retired may start by 45. How to achieve that? Okay, uh, we'll have to uh, specifically. Can I uh, answer your question in the end of the session because this is a uh, this is sector specific. Uh, we'll come to bond surely. We'll come to bond definitely. And uh, let me come to the what are the assets. Now, uh, the understanding of investment, we have come to. We have understood that. So where are the places where you can make the money work like you and work even harder? So they are basically, they are uh, two, three sectors. One is the equity share market. Then there comes a mutual fund, which is quite related to shares. Uh, if you have understanding difference between equity and mutual fund, bonds, gold deposits, and real estate. These are the basic real estate investments. Ideally, you should invest in all. 
if you have enough money then you start investing in all if not then at least one or two you can start maybe because real estate uh, most of them they at the early age they take loan and they buy the real estate but they pay a huge amount of uh, interest on real estate if uh, because buying a real estate is not so easy so the easy part what the easiest investment what i can suggest here is mutual funds because it doesn't require a lot of money and what i'm talking is that small amount of money lying in your bank every month and channelize it this is the word i'm using every time channelize it and make it in a flow free flow so that with uh, that perspective i'm coming to mutual fund because that doesn't require a big amount of money your investment will also start and it will also give you good amount of return that you, that it should come beating inflation and xyz all the reasons that we have spoken about given so everything we can be uh, can be done by mutual fund bonds will give you return uh, bonds are safe but liquidity is not there you cannot withdraw so easily bonds come with a 5 year tenure 6 year tenure sometimes 8 year tenure and bond money will become taxable also bond return will not be as far uh, as for the return that i am talking of i am coming from the point of uh, you have to understand that return which gives which comes at least 8 to 10% more than what bank fd is giving now in your chat box can you please mention the percentage that i am hovering around that i am trying to bring you bring you to it can that can come from different different assets but if you understand what the percentage that i am asking what could be that percentage exactly very excellent so this is the percentage that i am talking which will which i am talking in today's world there are uh, funds and there are assets or uh, places where you can invest your hard earned money and it will meet all the demands that are talking about inflation your passive income your buying uh, strength purchase uh, amount and your meeting financial goals so everything put together if you want to achieve all that and you want to go on a holiday you want to travel you want to have all financial goals then i think 15 uh, 14 to 15% that you should look at if any investment uh, is giving below 10% ideally i will not suggest that can be only to cushion your safety some percentage of the money can lie in that 8% like uh, uh, say bonds or uh, fd definitely it or some money market uh, commercial papers and all but that is only for safety but then rest of the money should work for 15% only then we can achieve what we want to achieve if you agree then please type agree in the chat okay so what should be the what should be the uh, pattern of investment what should you do now now you have assets uh, you have mutual fund you have equity shares you have bond you have gold you have real estate so what should you do with the money how much should you invest where should you so what should you do with it so this is called division of your money which is in plain language division is it called asset allocation in financial uh, industry asset allocation that is if you have 100 rupees then 10 rupee i am investing in mutual fund and say 10 rupees in bond 10 rupees on real estate that that going into different different boxes so this is called asset allocation and each asset assets are these equity shares mutual fund bonds these are called assets and each asset you will assign a certain percentage of your income right percentage so you will not put uh, your salary ka 50% you cannot put it in a equity share no that is not good neither can you put another 30, 50% in mutual fund that is also not good or say 30% you put it in real estate 20% in a bond so these percentage will vary from from person to person age and also your financial goal and the time period you want to get the money back maturity you understand maturity so you type maturity in the chat box so maturity money that that we are looking at so that is will decide what want what amount of money we want and by what time so time and the amount both are related also there are two more important factors age type age and risk very important factors what is your current age and what is the risk appetite what is your risk some people want to achieve 
फिफ्टीन परसेंट रिटर्न बट दे कैनॉट एब्सॉर्ब रिस्क ना इफ यू इफ आई टेल यू फिफ्टीन परसेंट रिटर्न यू कैन गो इन्वेस्ट इन इक्विटी स्टॉक स्टॉक मार्केट इजिली विल गिव यू फिफ्टीन परसेंट और यू कैन गो एंड इन्वेस्ट इन म्यूचुअल फंड आई विल टेल यू दंड नेम प्लीज गो एंड इन्वेस्ट इन दैट म्यूचुअल फंड इट विल हैपीली इट विल इजिली गिव यू फिफ्टीन परसेंट यू विल कम एंड आस्मी but then market is volatile both mutual fund and equity are market related they work on daily basis nav net asset value daily basis stocks keep rising and coming down on that basis the stock value or net asset value of a mutual fund will fluctuate every day basis which is published on the net on moneycontrol.com everywhere it is available on the fund name so if you say if 15% you told me 15% so i invested in mutual fund but after uh, one month or two months money i have invested 50000 it has become 49000 that is not acceptable to me why should my money go down so that means your risk appetite is not comfortable is low when you come when you are ready for investment for 15% and you are not ready with your risk your risk appetite is low then i think you should not go for such funds like aggressive fund like mutual fund and equity market or rather you should go for some stable uh, investments maybe real estate maybe gold or fd or ppf provident fund at 8% so that will give you comfortably 8% 7 1/2 8% it will not give you that 15% then we will have to rework on this you get the point if you have understood it please write agree if you have not understood anybody then you can ask me Okay, right. Excellent. So, some advisors, generally financial advisors, they say ideally it should be sixty forty, sixty percent. If you are young, because you have many more years for your uh, earn salary and income, make money, then you can invest in more aggressive funds. So, sixty percent of your yearly income or your monthly income, you can invest into equity market. Equity means not necessarily share market or buying stocks. You can invest in mutual fund also. because mutual fund is directly related to equity shares but it has got a cushion effect because each mutual fund scheme has got 50 to 60 schemes so if some schemes are negative there will be many schemes which are positive so ultimately mutual fund scheme will give you that 15% for sure that i can guarantee that i can for sure tell you because 20 years i am working in mutual fund i can also in the end if you want i can tell you which mutual funds you can come and invest and you can get definitely yes for couple of years 15 20% you will get but then if you go to equity market i cannot get it because equity shares are single shares and that anything can happen as per the industry or sector if the sector falls for some government or political or any other uh, environmental reason the sector falls then the stock will fall then i cannot bring them then it cannot come back it's very difficult to come back i don't know when so there are many stocks which have not come back and lost but mutual fund which will not happen not all of them but the ones which i'm talking about those mutual funds will work on 15% return and also give you all that i have told you. will give you gold ka effect will give you real estate ka effect will also give you bond everything mutual fund are two types there are debt also there are equity also there are two types of mutual fund so depending on your risk market it can risk appetite your investment can be done accordingly it can be divided into equity and debt if this is clear and understood please write in your chat box agreed or understood a uh, direct or regular mutual fund i am talking about regular mutual fund direct because then i will not have none of your uh, advisor will have a control on it there are two ways of investment in mutual fund you can go directly search your schemes on the net and start investing on your own but then oh, nobody will be there to help you guide you industry knowledge fund management knowledge there are at least 10 parameters in a mutual fund which you need to have only a financial advisor who is into this industry will be able to guide you so either you can contact me we also execute and do mutual funds in our company or you can take help from any 
experienced investment uh, financial advisor who does this and has a very good knowledge because today's i have seen the customers coming to us have got 5 years 10 years investment mutual fund but then they are all obsolete they are sitting on dead amount negative amount they have absolutely no clue what has happened they have kept on investment investing month on month in systematic investment sip as uh, as per advice to them but they have not been able to get any good return and they have come with that uh, statement and and we have reviewed and told them free of charge we don't charge for the review we have reviewed them and told them what are the things what are the solution what they can do about it so this is the story of mutual fund uh, apart from all other and i think i can very confidently tell you in today's world if you also agree you can write agree i think there is nothing better than mutual fund even uh, real estate yes real estate some people say it will grow but then it needs lot of money if i have to buy a, a real estate of 1 crore i have to uh, again give a interest amount of 80 lakh agreed or not i have to interest that amount also i have to pay to bank so totally buying a house of 1 crore i'm spending 2 crores almost all put together all charges so i'm getting a house worth of 1 crore but i'm spending 2 crore and i'm working double hard to get the 2 crore and pay to the bank unless and until i have 2 crore extra in my asset to pay and buy outright which most of them most people don't want to do that so it's very difficult but then that's why i said if you want to achieve all financial goals there is nothing better than mutual fund that i can very confidently tell you outright okay so next this slide okay so we have already discussed this uh, uh, the one basic uh, formula you can write in your notebook i can help you out 100 minus age if somebody has not told you you can write in your notebook 100 minus age is the percentage to invest in stocks by stocks i mean it can be mutual fund aggressive mutual fund which is 15% return or it can be equity shares like uh, you're buying direct stocks of hdfc reliance or any uh, stock market directly you are buying so if suppose your age is 30 years so how much you need to in how much is advisable to invest in stocks yes 70% right so 100 uh, minus your age is the percentage that you can invest so somebody is 50 year already he uh, he or she can only invest i mean should invest only 50% because only another couple of years say another two de- uh, one uh, or two decades maybe two to three decades person will be here on this earth so cannot play around with her or his money so it's very very risky so if somebody is 50 55 then the percentage will become lesser and lesser and if there is a younger person most of you must be young so if you have you are 20 30 year old 25 30 35 year old you have way ahead lot of time right now that's why i said you can invest happily into if you can look for schemes which are giving you 15% 18% there are some mutual funds which i um, probably uh, i can i mean just say that my portfolio is giving 50% 60% of course i've started investing uh, say 8 uh, years 9 years into those funds which have grown to right now 50% 60% so this i mean it's pretty good it's very good what more do you want out after this so now uh, what are the criteria if you understood how to select your investment asset what are the i uh, criteria criteria you have to look at your age okay risk appetite so a r investment goals i and the asset class so these are the criteria that you have to look at asset class or you can say maturity so type a r Uh, your goal g and maturity m so type that so you have to uh, play around in this okay play around your investment into this criteria can you refer any mutual which pays it yes of course yes there are many so if you can contact me personally uh, after the session one on one on something see i i will not mention right now over here the scheme names and all which is uh, uh, as per regulation but uh, there are fund houses like hdfc nippon quant uh, icici they have at least two to three scheme definitely giving more than 18% uh, very very confident i can tell you very confidently 
all these four fund houses definitely or maybe one more or two but this i'm very comfortable and they are giving more than 18% return as uh, inquired by you so personally after the session you want more in detail you want to get more help or something on this i will definitely uh, help you out okay so this is the basic uh, what uh, just to revise what we have spoken to you now if you look at this figure you can take a picture of this on your mobile uh, which will help you to understand uh, for investment if you have not started investing this is a triangular pyramid how should you start or what should be your thinking process when you look for the schemes or structure how should i invest basic foundation that security the foundation of your investment so if you have say a uh, 100 rupees make an investment plan in such a way that 100 is safe at any cost anyway and then you start building on that your building is now developing now you will search around for asset classes and market where you can divert this money uh, so keeping the money safe secured now the money has started growing and giving you more return and then you start looking for capital allocation that is risky uh, once your money is safe your foundation is strong then you look around for schemes where you can multiply your money get that 18% 20% 15% so you can get if you want take a picture of this so that you will not forget that how you should your thinking not straight away you cannot start from the top that 18% to de raha hai this scheme is giving 20% 18% man has told so let me go invest but you are not sure that money is safe or not right so make that foundation safe that your building is safe and then you start looking around and start investing money so if you agree then type agree with hdfc nippon quant icici okay so this is principle of asset allocation which have so all this time i have been repeating and telling that you should invest try out maybe 10 10% of your money buy some equity for a taste get a good, good you go to head, hotel and restaurant right so you don't eat every time you don't eat a pizza you don't do you you don't eat pizza or you don't eat biryani every time you go to restaurant you go visit that restaurant you like that restaurant a lot but then you try, want to try your different different menu let me see how their uh, their uh, other tikka masala or something else how how is their snack item how is the beverage so let me try out at least taste how does it if it is not good i will not come back again or i will not taste it later on same goes with the principle of asset allocation when you start investing you must taste at least for couple of us and say how buy few stocks good open a demat account and buy one or two good stocks stable stocks don't buy mid cap and small cap small, any stock maybe you can ask some financial advisor and ask and buy hdfc bank buy reliance or or um, tata or ccs you can buy which will not go back again which will not fall back and so these are like gold mines you can for generation after generation you can hold on to these stocks and you can like build on the money on that these stocks will keep on only growing they don't fall back so you can buy invest some money 10% into equity put some 10% into debt debt meaning like uh, money market or uh, gold or uh, gold definitely women definitely buy gold and uh, men also can buy gold and uh, for their daughters or for themselves because gold also is giving good return gold not necessarily you buy physical gold you can invest in gold in through mutual funds also so there are some gold mutual fund you can invest in gold mutual fund in sip or lump sum so later on usme kya hai you aapka locker charge you don't have to pay the fear of loss of gold ornament wo nahi rahega you don't have to that fear so after say 5 year 10 year when you are want to withdraw the money and you really want to buy some gold so de invest that money and buy gold for yourself or utilize the money into something else so these are all important and each asset comes with its own risk as i told you lower risk lower return if you don't know please write in your notes lower risk lower return if that there is no risk return also will be low like bank fd saving pps so the bonds they have low return and low risk there is no risk medium return medium risk and high return high risk so i am coming from all the points so you should touch base in all now each of these will will be attached with your financial goal 
longer goal if you have goal is 10 years 15 years mera retirement plan child's education these are long goals buying a house so long goals you can happily invest in high risk if it is a medium goal like you know 3 4 years i want to buy a car or i want to maybe uh, um, uh, house i want to like uh, i want to again uh, re establish or something so that was 3 years 5 years all amount so that can be invested in medium return goals if it is in one year you want to buy a vehicle car or a expensive iphone laptop then don't even invest in mutual fund because in one year you will you, there is a risk because mutual fund does not come with guarantee does not have any guarantee whether it is debt fund or equity mutual fund has no guarantee but you need that money in one year so that you can invest in a, some safe liquidity where there is liquidity from uh, debt market so invest more if you can take the risk more more invest the more you invest the more money you will get definitely take the mutual fund route this is what i spoke to you and it's coming printed so mutual fund is what i like the best or uh, not me i think the entire world fii is for in investors everybody chooses mutual fund way because that helps us to achieve our goals and becomes a passive income so every month you can see lot of profit happening in your mutual fund statement that can add on to your salary and will help you achieve your goals fast if you have agree if you have understood please write understood and it's very safe to invest in better to invest in gold mutual fund rather than buying going to a gold jeweler and buying gold biscuits then hiring a locker because a locker will charge you 10000 rupees a locker charge which is a dead investment again rather than 10 10000 you put it in a mutual fund that money will become 20000 in couple of years but that gold ka locker ka 10000 it will not grow at all that money will the dead that money is dead it is only giving you a locker to keep the gold and in spite of that sometimes the gold uh, there is a loss of uh, property uh, asset gold ka bhi loss ho jata hai so it's better to buy uh, invest the money if you are very uh, keen on gold then you can invest in mutual fund gold all these companies have very good return uh, of course as per gold rate nippon hdfc icici they all come with gold okay so uh investment this uh, i were already told you this higher the risk higher the return medium risk this is the basic formula and you should have a mix of stock bonds cash market everything uh bond i would say that bond a uh, five year lock in rahega six year lock in rahega so if even after that the money will be taxable so think about it uh i would personally i would tell you that take advice of an advisor financial advisor who can advise you properly looking at the financial gold what are your goals that is the main thing what are your goals how much money you want after 5 years how much money you want after 10 years or 15 years or any other thing so it is a uh, case to case basic it is as everybody's financial portfolio is unique is different my portfolio or my goal cannot be same with any person of my age also it will be completely different my requirement is different from another person similarly your requirement and your friends requirement is completely different in your same family requirement is different so each individual should sit with a financial advisor consultant and uh, take help and then only proceed with your money matter if you have understood is it clear if it's clear then type clear welcome okay so percentage of fund allocated to each uh, depend on time frame and tolerance of these are the two very very important factors you must remember that any percentage you cannot put in fd any percentage aaj mujhe acha laga 50000 i go invest in mutual fund or uh, one lakh i go and buy a stock or say 40000 i buy a gold please do not do like uh, random decisions you must look at this bottom table there are three, three types of financial goals look at your goals time specific and also tolerance of risk you cannot tolerate the risk because there are some mid caps and small caps which are highly volatile and risky they are giving 40% 50% return but at a small risk at a small volatility in the market it will become with a red line it will come negative and then you cannot absorb but we are used to it 
Ultimately, what we are seeing market last 20 years, Sensex has gone from the basic 10,000 and today it is almost reaching 70,000. I guess reached 70,000. And it is predicted Sensex will reach 1 lakh. So there is only a growth path. In between, like a, you know, uh, short breaks uh, rider, if you go on a ride, on a long ride, there are brakes and speed, there are speed breakers. So these falling of the market is a speed breaker and it is not going to stay for long. Remember that any speed breaker, any uh, fall in the market will come with, uh, with small time and will go back again. It will again start rising. So do not panic. My, uh, my uh, suggestion is please do not panic and keep investing and stay investment, stay with your, in, uh, with your investment and your decision as you have decided uh, thinkingly. So you continue with that comfortably. There is nothing going to go wrong with mutual fund. Definitely. Okay, let's come to just basic I thought because some people, uh, they still are in a myth. There is a myth. Safe to my karta hu. I, if I keep, I ask somebody generally, do you invest? Yes, I invest. What do you invest? I put my money in my account, savings account. Okay, so that is investment. Now, there are some negatives and positives about savings and investment. I, I hope I have, by now you have understood what is a saving and investment. Saving is something which will not work. Simple saving, savings account, 2.7%, it will not work. It doesn't work. Work like you. You are working very hard. Your money is not working. It is sleeping and lying idle. So that money is useful for what purpose? Say tomorrow I want to buy a mobile. I want to pay the bill. Some bill has come. So go my bill pay karne ke liye. My salary got exhausted. So uh, that money, uh, I have some money lying, 10, 20,000 lying in my savings account. Then emergency. That, that has come as an emergency. That money is useful. Paying the bill, buying grocery buying a mobile or maybe a small item, something like that, some furniture, so savings account. Or you can like, you know, uh, advice is that six months salary, keep it in a savings bank, don't invest it as an emergency fund, but also, of course, you should not start spending on it. You should not in, uh, start, start, start spending because six months salary should ideally be kept in your savings account in case of job loss. In case of emergency or if you are looking, you know something is going to come now in next six months, seven months, then ideally you, that much amount, six months of salary, keep it ideal in your savings account. So that is purpose of savings account. It is neither meeting inflation or neither it is giving you opportunity to make your money grow, giving you extra income, passive income. All this extra income is not going to happen. Rather, when you now after keeping that six months salary, Balance amount, if you start investing into channelized into mutual funds or uh, gold or bonds or which is giving you more return than your saving account, then it is investment and it is beating your inflation rate. And that investment is only going to help you your financial goal, like buying a house, getting married or gifting some expensive buying car, retirement planning. So those things will only come if you start investing. If you are so bottom line is like uh, conclusion is what should you do? Now I have spoken once one side we have spoken about savings, another side I have spoken about investment. So clearly I have make you understood that what is saving and what is un, uh, investment. So what should you do? Whether should you save? Whether should you invest? Or should you mix up both? So the basic line is that you should make a mix of both savings and investment both. Why? Because emergency money chahiye. Emergency, we need some money. If I keep investing everything, of course, it is liquid. Mutual fund is liquid. Maybe some other investment is also liquid. But uh, I don't want to break that investment, which is giving 15%, 18% return. Would you like to break? Yes or no? You don't want to disturb, right? That investment you don't want to disturb, which is growing at 18%. So what would you do? You make a mix of, balance it out with your saving and investment. So that emergency fund you can withdraw from your saving and investment you can keep for the longer term, right? How much should be saved and how much should be invested? I've already told you, 
what should be said six months basic formula six months if you can if you can if it is possible little little amount every month your goal is six months say if your monthly salary is 50000 six months multiply by six that should be the amount it should lie in your bank now immediately you cannot but every month try to accumulate uh, you know uh, accumulate that much money uh, so collect that much money every month so that at least somewhere near 2 to 3 lakh rupee is available handy with you it may not be savings account it can be a, a debt fund in a mutual fund which is giving at least 6% or 7% which is better than a savings account a savings account is 2.7%. That savings can be done in a mutual fund also, which is giving 7%, 7.5%, not an FD, but a debt mutual fund, which is quite safer than an equity mutual fund, much safer than equity mutual fund. And that can become your uh, emergency fund. That can become, which you can withdraw anytime. There are some mutual fund you can withdraw in 24 hours. So immediately in five minutes, there is one mutual fund, debt fund, uh, equity, UTI cash fund, cash liquid fund, which you can withdraw in five minutes. You can transfer from uh, online, you can transfer from mutual fund to your bank account. So online you can transfer. So that that is like a uh, your savings. That will become your savings investment, savings fund. Okay, this is just I wanted to add why do some people still fail in investment because at the age of 40, 42, 45 also, they're still searching and hovering around. I have not invested and then he starts worrying or maybe 30, 35, uh, you have enjoyed life and you have done all the things that you wanted to do with your money and then you realize you've still not started investing. My advice is that even if you have just started a one month job, or maybe one year you are into the system at least 1000 rupees or 2000 rupees that you can take it out from your salary you start an sip or anything that you want to put it into an investment make it a discipline and start investing because you don't know after two years three years or four years that will become your emergency fund and you will not even realize that you that investing 1000 rupees 2000 rupees per month has grown to 50,000 rupees, 1 lakh, which becomes an cushion and extra uh, source of income for you. And it becomes so helpful when you really want money to buy something and that big money becomes so helpful. So you need don't need to search around and be so panicky. What should I do? Where should I do? What should I do? Just simple start a small investment of 1,000, 2,000 rupees per month. That itself will make you much more disciplined and instead of talking to why fail people because another reason is people talk to each other talk to friends some friends say put it into the bond some friends say i've done this some friends say do that so if we have a tendency my best friend has done that so let me also do that so instead of friends are very good no doubt about it they help us in emergency but when it comes to investment it is very personal i think you should take help from a uh, investor from an investment advisor yeah so the last slide is uh, just have a look at it uh, rest of the things i've already spoken just a simple if you can understand there are two people kishore and ramesh if you can see kishore is 30 year old and ramesh is 40 years okay can you see the slide all of you? can you see the slide okay so both of them they want to achieve uh, 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 some retirement money at the age of 60, they decided not to work and they want some money at the time of retirement. So the person who is 30 year old, he has got 30 years time. He started investing 5,000 rupees at the age of 30 at 12% return, some fund, maybe some any fund. And he got 1 crore 76 lakh. So Ramesh is already, Ramesh is 40 year old. And uh, since he's not, uh, he also needs retirement money. So he started investing 10,000 rupees per month. And uh, now he's got only 20 years for retirement. He is also chosen an investment, same like Kishore. So 12%. He gets one, one crore. He gets one crore. And whereas Kishore gets one crore 76. Why the difference? Because a, a mutual fund SIP has a power of compounding. There is an internal compounding. So when you start investing every month, these are the features you will get. You will get disciplined investment. You will get 
पावर ऑफ कंपाउंडिंग रूपी कॉस्ट एवरेजिंग एंड यू कैन इन्वेस्ट एनी टाइम यू कैन इंक्रीज योर इन्वेस्टमेंट यू कैन डिक्रीज योर इन्वेस्टमेंट सो अर्लियर यू स्टार्ट इन्वेस्टिंग यू यू गेट मोर ऑपॉर्चुनिटी टू हैव अ बिगर फंड देन यू स्टार्ट इन्वेस्टिंग लेटर ओके the bottom uh, this table best talks about a low risk plan balanced plan and difference between diversified plan and aggressive plan so 10000 rupees monthly if you is invested in different kind of risk low risk medium risk diversified and aggressive high risk so all of them i have kept for 5 years and low risk is giving 10% medium is giving 12% diversified Fifteen uh, percent diversified, some equity, some debt. That is called diversified, and high risk is giving twenty percent. Now total value is same. Uh, this is what is invested. So investment amount is six uh, lakh for each all of them. Low risk is giving one lakh eighty thousand after five years. Medium risk is giving two lakh twenty four. Diversified is giving two lakh ninety six, and aggressive is giving four lakh thirty four thousand. at 20% so this is what happens when you select funds you have to be very careful when you select funds not only the percentage you have to look into 10 other parameters what is the fund uh, and what are the portfolio of the fund who is the fund manager what are other risks everything so if everything is suiting you and everything is comfortable and you can go for 18% or 20% uh, year on year funds are given return then it is a high possibility that good opportunity that you can get, make good money so we have come to the end of the session don't say what is left but after spending but spend what is left after saving so so start investing as soon as possible and uh, we are also executing uh, many kinds of investments if you need help you can uh, you can let me know uh, rest like any question or questions so uh, thank you so much for a such an ins insightful session and uh, i request all the audience to uh, participate in a poll so i'm just launching a poll which will be visible on your screen so please answer those questions it will really help us to uh, curate such sessions further and it will you can also uh, write your suggestion if you uh, if you have any suggestion uh, related like what kind of a topic that we can cover so you can just participate in the poll which is live here and meanwhile we can if you have any questions or uh, if you want to uh, ask something to soma you can just raise your hand we will move to the panelist and you can ask your queries directly with soma yes so Thank there is one so more question uh, under the chat box soma this is like what is your view on fire movement F I R E. It's an F I R E. I can see only N R I and broker. Can you share the steps to open a DMAT account by a N R I and brokers that offer such service? No, this is a a question under the Q and A section. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, this I will get back to you on that. Uh, uh, I will. Uh, whoever the person is can message me. I will. I will type. Up. I will send. Up. I will. I will send reply. And there is one more question under the chat box. Is like, can you share the steps to open a DMAT by an NRI and brokers that offer such services? Uh, see, uh, NRI need to have first and for for most is uh, uh, they need to have PAN card and Aadhar card because India Indian investment will not uh, will not get activated will not open allow them unless and until they have. uh aadhar card and pan card in case they have both because many nris they are visiting country india very often they have relatives the counterpart so if they have aadhar card and pan card and they have a nre account or nro account then they can do any kind of invest not a problem they can open a dmat account please uh, which asset class amend would you 
own currently uh, uh see uh, it's not a matter of owning as such but uh, i suggest this is my suggestion because mutual fund is very subjective and uh, it is nothing is guaranteed so there is a lot of risk hovering around because we are playing with customers money and your uh, future you know uh, financial planning but very comfortable uh, which i can suggest is you can go with hdfc you can go with icici mutual funds uh, there are very good schemes nippon is extremely doing well and uh, quant also i work on quant quant is a good uh, good fund house uh is giving good return but uh, many people they are uh, they have a different thought they have not heard of the name quant and not very comfortable then i will not suggest that's okay so uh, since you asked me which you own so these are couple of uh, uh amcs uh, which i work on uh, about debt sip yes you can uh, start a debt sip there are liquid funds there are debt schemes short term long term uh debt schemes there are couple of them in icici hdfc we can do the debt debt sip you can start a debt sip yes uh what would be the ideal place to invest to achieve an intermediate goal around 6 months debt scheme definitely debt 6 months is too less period to invest in a, a high risk and uh, equity market go for a debt scheme which is giving you 7 and 1/2 8% there are liquid funds you can invest in short term liquid extra uh, ultra short ultra short scheme what is your view on sweep account which if uh, see these are bank related uh, 6.8% can be withdrawn any point you can go ahead i heard it is good but i am not related to bank can be co uh, convert bank account to sweep account yes you can um access um there are some sweep accounts icici access yes you can do that but i am not working in bank so uh, don't uh, don't quote me or The advisable is you could directly go to bank and check. Thank you so much, and uh, my number is uh, there with my uh, email address and number is there with Ekta. So any of you would like to personally approach me for any other advice, you can definitely ask. Thank you so much for hearing me out and being here. the session yeah so as we are coming end to the session so i would like to uh, thank you for a, such a for sharing a such a insightful uh, things on finances so uh, soma a huge thank you from our side and um, and your value on this particular topic on building a better financial life uh, is really uh, the power will, which will give us to transform our financial journeys which lies in our hands yeah so uh, i would also like all the audience to i hope you have shared your feedbacks under the poll section so let's do not uh, hesitate to reach out to shoma with any uh, of the burning questions that you have so you can always write us uh, write us to us on uh, wellness@ethica.in and we can uh, probably get in touch with uh, shoma and you can uh, get your answers definitely even though it cannot it may not be my forte like bank and all i will definitely help you out because sure. there are many customers they ask us for a pps although i am not directly i cannot do pps uh, post office pps or comparison what is better what is good should i do should i not do i will definitely give you the right advice to the best of my possibility i will definitely yeah. being in the financial life and I, i thank all the audience to so much, for being so engaging and uh, asking all the questions or queries that you had so that was a very engaging session that we had today so thank you all of you for joining us on this captivating ride and years to the future filled with the financial success until next time stay empowered and keep striving for your greatness and thank you soma for such a wonderful thank you ekta for giving me this wonderful opportunity and uh, exploring uh, what what is my knowledge and sharing with you all and i offer my all my services and support to your entire team definitely thank you once again thank you so much ma'am thank you bye 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 have a wonderful evening you too have a wonderful yeah.